Hi, hello my little apples and welcome back to another video. Today, we're having some tea. We're gonna have some tea time right now while I tell you guys what I eat in a day. This was filmed a couple days ago and I'm finally getting around to it just because finals week is this week. I actually have a final in like 45 minutes, but instead of last minute studying, I decided to sit down and talk to you guys because this is the ultimate form of procrastination. I'm just going to share with you what I eat as a vegan college student, also doing something very similar to intermittent fasting. I talked about this in my previous video, which I know my last video was also what I eat in a day videos, but you guys really like those. I think they're the most fun for me to make, at least at this time, just because I'm, I'm enjoying it and I like sharing what I eat with you guys. If you want to know more about that, check it out. I'm not going to bore you with the formalities. Let's just go straight into it because I know you just want to see what I eat in a day, so let's do it. The first thing that I reach for in the morning is some morning tea because I just love green tea and it's actually what I'm drinking right now. Okay, now to kind of break my fast, I guess, or when I'm making my breakfast, which is around 12 or 1 p.m. after class, I decided to have some grapes, and yes, I do put my grapes that I wash in mason jars because I'm obsessed with mason jars. And I just had my grapes with some nuts for a very nice, nutritious, nutrient-dense snack. I decided to, of course, have a smoothie bowl because you guys know I love my smoothie bowls. Smoothie bowls and smoothies make life so much easier to get in your greens, especially if it's something like spinach and you're combining it with fruit because it helps mask the taste of the greens. When I'm making food, I like to eat food while I'm doing it because I just wait until the last minute and I'm already hungry. So I'm snacking on those grapes and nuts while I'm making the smoothie bowl. And ended up looking like throw up, but still tasted delicious. Before we move on, I just like to say that I have been trying to incorporate a lot more fats into my diet, as you can see with the drizzled tahini, with all the nuts and seeds, the cacao nibs, because I feel that it has been making a really big difference in my mood, my satiation, especially my skin. Inspired by Miles from Healthy Crazy Cool, go check his channel out if you haven't and make sure you tell him that I sent you but he is the king of tahini, he's the king of healthy whole plant fats and just watching all of his videos and becoming closer friends with him and collaborating with him on videos has really inspired me to increase my plant fat up intake and it has really been beneficial for me. Let's move on to the next thing that I put into my body. I went to Starbucks to do some homework and study for my finals. I got an Americano with one pump of vanilla and one pump of mocha. And then I added in about half a packet of stevia. Normally I just get plain black Americanos, but for some reason today I just wanted something sweet and comforting and something that'll like jolt me. And then after that, I went to the gym and did a really, really good leg quad focus workout, except I forgot to bring my camera and film it. So just know that I went to the gym and did a workout. And then I went to Sam's Club and did a little restock on my favorite items. I get this frozen bag of vegetables just because it's so much easier and I think more cost efficient and time efficient to have that frozen bag of veggies so that you could just steam it and it's ready to go. So that's what I always have. And then I also got this bag of berries. I found these amazing multi-grain oven baked crackers that I just had to try and guys, they are so good. I didn't try them in this video, but I tried them yesterday. 
amazing. And then as usual, I got my tofu because I wanted to make some air fried tofu and didn't have any more. And then I got some more black grapes, which I did have a lot of as I was shopping around Sam's Club. So just know that I ate a bunch of those. It's not stealing because I'm paying for the entire thing. So I'm basically like eating it in advance. And I know you guys, I know I should be washing my grapes. I'm gonna call myself out before you guys call me out. I should wash it because it's kind of gross to be eating dirty grapes. Um, but I was just hungry, you know, and I know it's not gonna kill me, so I don't know. I ended up washing all of them anyway right that night, so we good. I just I just needed to eat some grapes because I love grapes. So for dinner, I decided to make some air fried tofu, and I didn't have time to press this tofu, so I kind of just like dried it as much as I could with a paper towel. And then I cut it into little cubes, and then I seasoned it with some salt and an everything seasoning and just tossed it a little bit and then I threw it into our air fryer at 390 degrees for about 11 minutes and now the best part the greens I love to start off my big I don't know just eat it salad bowls with a bunch of greens and so as you can see I'm kind of struggling to get out the lettuce but they come to you in a form with their roots with them already which helps them last a lot longer and so these cute little packages of greens are from Pete's Living Greens since everything comes with their roots attached they have a shelf life of about 18 days in the fridge but honestly these did not last I'm telling you right now I'm already done with two of the packs and it's only been a couple days and as a cool hack, the way that they come, you can actually take the root ball, which is on the bottom of the package, I don't know if you guys can see it, and the innermost leaves of the living strips and the living lettuces can be planted and regrown. So if you have a green thumb, which I do not have, definitely check out Pete's Living Greens in the description below. Or if you just want to try this out and you love your greens and you want something fresh and nutrient dense and something that lasts a lot longer, check out Pete's Living Greens. So I just chopped up my lettuce into small pieces after I rinsed them up, put them into my huge bowl, and then into my huge bowl I put in half of an avocado, topped it with a, about a teaspoon of dulse flakes and mashed it all up. You guys already know the drill with mashing up your avocado with your greens, it makes everything taste so creamy, so good, and so easy for you to get your greens in. So I steamed a bunch of those frozen vegetables and put them into the bowl, topped it with the tofu when it was all done. At the same time, my roommate was making her salad bowl and she was about to eat the rest of these tortilla chips. And I was like, can I just have the rest of those? And I crumpled them on top of the bowl. So these are like grain tortilla chips and I just wanted a little bit more crunch onto the salad. On top of that as well, I used this salad topper which has figs, walnuts, almonds, cranberries, and sunflower seeds. And then I made a tahini sauce to drizzle on top, which is just tahini, some hot water, and then I added in cayenne pepper because I needed to be spicy. I need some spice in my life, you know? Then drizzled that right on top, and here is my huge bowl of whatever. Just throw it in. I don't know. And as I was eating it, I realized that it was missing a very vital, vital piece of nutrition, nutritional yeast. For dessert, I decided to just have a bowl of like protein pudding cereal with berries. So I just put one scoop of vanilla protein powder, mixed it with a little bit of water, and then I added in a bunch of frozen berries and topped it with some mini chocolate chips. These are the mini chocolate chips that I used. I love these because they are the top 10 allergen free, they're vegan. The ingredients are so simple. I think it's just like chocolate and sugar which is beautiful and then they're so small perfectly sized and they're just so cute and small and you could just top them on anything i decided i wanted a, a little bit more chocolate as i was studying oh i also forgot to mention a fun snack right before i went to starbucks i ate this red bar the salted caramel superfood energy bar 100 percent recommend that is everything that I ate today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and give you some ideas, I guess simple ideas. Everything that I eat and put together is more like kind of just throw it and eat it. I just like to put whatever I have in my kitchen together and hopefully it'll inspire you guys to get more creative in your kitchen to make more things that you don't know what it is, but you know, it tastes good and you know it's healthy, so just eat it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more content and turn on the notifications I mean, if you want to see more videos because some of you are subscribed to me but you never see my videos, and that's because YouTube just is doing that thing where it's like, I don't want to show you anything unless you're notified. So 
If these videos are something that you would not like to miss, please turn on notifications. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning, noon, day, or night, wherever you are, and I will see you all next time. And wish me luck on my final, which is in like 45, which is now <sighs> impending upon me. Hmm. And good luck to all of you guys who are studying for exams and finals. Make sure you keep on that brain food and keep yourself fueled. Make sure you sleep, exercise, rest, and all that good stuff. I'm just rambling, so I'm going to go. <laughs> okay, bye.